So I was copying over files and I realized how colorful this game is. I love it. Ah. Also, I only get to play this game once a week, so it's it's special when I do. So each time I, I just kind of get I don't know, refreshed by how colorful it is. <clears throat> Somehow Mario had found the strength to cross the desert's sweltering dunes. Ahead was a sprawling complex of ruins rising out of the sand. Thankfully for the shade, Mario and Tippy ventured deeper inside. They were the very ruins old man Watch It had warned them about. What dangers looked in the shady cor- shady, the shady corridors ahead. This time on Chapter 1-4, The Monster of the Ruins. Mario, I can feel it calling. The pure heart is nearby. But, wait. I sent something else emanating from the sand dunes. Be careful now, Mario. Something else is waiting for us ahead. Ominous. Wow, okay. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Super Paper Mario! Last time, I got frustrated at the hands of the game, because... Uh, everything seemed to go wrong. I couldn't style, I couldn't do puzzles because I was dumb. But since then, you guys have been very vocal in the comments about what went wrong, and also about styling in general, which I appreciate. I wrote down a comment here, if I can pull it up. Uh, I didn't actually write it down, because I'm American, I was lazy and I just took a picture of it. So someone said that according to the wiki, uh, you can style multiple ways, either by pushing the Wiimote forward, so I'm gonna try it here. Okay. You can push it forward, backwards, left, and right three times, which is really crazy. Um, slightly clockwise and back to normal position, so you tilt it, okay? And then counterclockwise and back to normal position. So I'm going to be trying mixing up my style commands, or my, uh, let's see, I don't think they're actually called style, no, they're called stylish moves. So I'm going to try to mix those up. Oh, and we have a new enemy. This is, oh man, I forgot what these are. Yeah, a buzzy beetle. They're tougher than they look. HP is 1, attack is 1, defense is 3, even flames won't scorch its hard shell. Sometimes they cling to the ceiling, drop down on your head when you walk by. Not very friendly, Buzzy. Shame on you. I feel like that's a reference. So, these are actually... Okay, I didn't style there. These are actually some of my favorite enemies in the series. Because they're just really cool. They, they're... Like, they're, they're so cool. Oh, wow. Can I just... Wait a minute. Okay, I feel like this is... You guys, you guys know the... You guys know the, uh infinite life it's not a glitch the infinite life um exploit in mario games well i feel like you could do that with the buzzy beetle by repeatedly jumping on the shells okay uh let's let's try the tilt thing so that didn't work okay so it'll take some practice i'll try to stop talking about it since it's obvious to you guys that it's it's hard for me so i won't reiterate it too much but it will be a struggle Ooh, one of these um, the high ceiling will be a bit difficult. Okay. I also swapped out controllers. So, hopefully that will help. So there's a ladder over here in typical, uh, typical Mario underground level style. And we got, we got a life shroom. Uh, we actually saw this, in, saw this in the shop a couple episodes ago. Automatically restores 5 HP if you fall in battle. So that's, in, so it's, it's literally a life. Okay. In other words, we should not use it actively. We should just let it sit and let it help us when uh, our need is dire. Also, I've been taking some serious damage now that I look at it. In fact, do I have items? I have a life shroom, and that's it. Uh, that's 7 HP, damage by half. I should be using my items a little bit more actively. In fact, shroom shake it is. Hello. Man, I, I mentioned in the early parts of this episode how much I l I'm liking this game for the, the color of it. Let's see, what was the last game we played? We played uh, Wind Waker, which was really, it, w it was, I mean, it was a colorful game, but this is just really colorful. Also, okay, uh, when in doubt, s swap, because if we hit these these blocks, they'll, they'll turn around and we can go through this door. I, I forgot actually completely about the, uh, the flip mechanic. That just goes to show how, uh, 
how much time I go between recording episodes. I record them on the weekends because I'm in college. There's the key. And I feel like I could do something here. No, okay. But yeah, I go a week between recording episodes, so it's it's always fresh when I come back, and it's amazing. Okay, it's fresh like Mongolian Grill. Select an item. There's only one item we can use. Man, I've, I've really had a hankering for some Mongolian grilled food, but sadly in uh, in southern Washington where I live, that just isn't really an option. Okay, let's try uh, hitting it forward. That didn't work. Okay. Ugh. Coin. Coin. All coins. Okay. Whatever. Let's get in here. Jump on you. I feel like there's a secret here. There isn't. What do you know? And I can't fall there. Alright, let's just wade through the sand. I'm getting some heavy, uh, Four Swords Adventures vibes here from this cave. Oh, come on. Okay, there's a squiggly there, and I can jump up there. I can jump really high. My word. Like, just watch this, watch this, watch this. I'll jump down here. Whoa! I jumped so high. Speaking of high- Oh, I see what they want us to do here. Come here, spawn one, spawn one, yes. Okay, I'll jump and throw it. Got it. Throw is really awesome, and I can still get the, uh, kill. Okay, let's go up the ladder and see what happened outside. <coughs> Got that out, pal. What happened? What, what? What's different? Oh, 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 I see, I see. Cool. So there was something there. Let's use throw to grab the key. We got another ruins key. Jump out here, jump down there without taking damage. <gasps> wow, that was close. I need to remember that flipping uh, makes me invulnerable while I'm flipping, so I should use it in uh, in a bind. Speaking of binds, there's no bind here, but I should I should, should still flip to see what what's around. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Okay, there's nothing here. Wait, 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 okay. Can I walk through here? No. That's just a that's just a graphical thing. Hmm. Ugh! Ow. <laughs> hmm. Let's go back through here and see what see what I see. Actually, you know what? I got it. I got it. Tippy. Aha! Stars above. There's something there. I'll show it to you. Wow, that was an Indiana Jones. Would I, if I had jumped there, would I have been able to stand? Okay, that's a that's a real question that I I want to know in the comments because that's that's very intriguing. Okay, uh, there's fire bars here that I'll take damage from, like a scrub noob. Can I get in there from here? I can. I can. Ah! I love this game! What's over here? Mm, nothing? Yeah, nothing. That's odd. I feel like there's going to be something there. Huh. Okay, there's another door here. Well, we got the key, so, I mean... It's... it's... all good. Whoa! Ha! Is this infinite? Are these infinite points? It looks like it. I still, I really wonder, I really wonder if I can get infinite coins here. Or, uh, not coins, but points. In fact, I'm tempted to try it. Okay. Right here? No. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to try. But I feel like you could abuse it there. I also feel like after a while it would stop giving you points because that it's so obvious that it's obvious. That would be obvious to the designers. I mean, as as oblivious as Nintendo can be to exploits at times, I still feel like, you know, they they uh would see that one coming. Okay, come on, TP. Okay, nothing's there. So let's let's use the springboard again and go to the other side. There's nothing. Nothing down here. Nothing over here. Oh, there's a ladder. Haha. -ha. Man, the level design is just so good in this game. 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Phew. Seriously, I'm, I'm co constantly impressed by the level design. Okay, we can get over here. Why I flipped there, I don't know. I just felt like there was a, an abyss that was awaiting me. Okay, there's not an abyss, but there's a giant red button that looks like we shouldn't press it. Oh, 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 okay. Um, you know what, can we just do this? No, we can't, no, we can't, no, we cannot. <laughs> the game, I asked a question and the game answered immediately by saying no. Wow, that seems excessive. So, uh. Uh. Mm. Oh, I can jump down here. Interesting. Uh, I don't get hurt. Uh, is there anything to be found down here? No. When in doubt, flip, man. When in doubt, flip. All right, so we filled that chasm. In fact, we can't even backtrack anymore. So let's go through the door and see what see what's waiting for us. Buttons. Buttons. I don't want to hit the buttons yet. Because they seem dangerous. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> when in doubt, flip, guys. When in doubt, flip bitty flip flop. No, no, no. Yes! Do boop boo boo do. What are those drawings on the wall over there? You see that? They're like... A snake? Or a bridge? I can't actually tell what they are. And there's no secret over there, right? Actually, you know what, you know what, you know what. I have to check, because this game is this game. It's stinking this game. There has to be something everywhere. I have to check everywhere. And there's nothing there. Seriously, what is that on the wall? I don't, I don't know what that is in the wall. No, I don't want, no. I meant to hit this. Yay! I got a life shroom, or a super life shroom, shroom or a super saiyan blue shroom. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, warning. Speaking of the game answering questions, I think I know it was drawn on the wall now. Intrusion detected. Leave immediately or be purged. Wait, scan initialized. Red cap detected. Blue overalls detected. Level 5 mustache detected. Incredible possible subject identification. But it is impossible. Hold your position. Searching data banks. <laughs> A progress bar. I love it. <laughs> uh, he's using he's using the 3DS internet option, which is immensely slow. Search complete. One positive match. System overload. Legendary hero identified. Forgive me, hero. I am called Fractale. My only purpose is to defend up your heart from lawless intruders. You are late. I have waited thousands of years for your arrival. You may pass. The pure heart is just ahead. <laughs> it won't be that easy. Oh no. Who speaks? So very nice to meet you and your mustache. I am Count Black's master of dimensions, the pleaser of crowds. I am Dementio. Remember the name well. I know you. You're that. It would be... Uh, it would be so very dull if your journey ended so easily. Instead, it ends with magic. <laughs> yes, much better. Now you and this robotic guardian can spend some quality time. Yes, quality snack time when he snacks on you, for you are the snack. Ciao. What did he just beep? I am error. Press any key to restart. 
System not found. Insert disk. Disk not found. Please confirm the cover is not scratched. Read error. No response. System may be busy or melting. Application error. Save your work and quit. You lost everything. Way to go, genius. Waiting for processors. 404. Computer hamsters not found. Jelly roll one. Detonation imminent. Wow. Okay, so this is what happens in today's age when our generation loses connection to Wi-Fi. Got it. Beeble weeble leap. See, run, queer, inquiry, identification, run, insult generator, results, go away, yeti lip, control, alt, delete. Wow. So if I lose connection to internet, that too will happen to me. Sad reality of, the, of this generation. I guess, I don't know, I guess there are kind of two generations now. There's, what is it, the, the M generation, which is uh, the the millennials, but then there's this kind of in-between generation, the kids that grew up with technology, not the kids that were introduced to technology. You know, like those those kids you see that that have uh, that have cell phones and are constantly on them. You know, those eight-year-olds. I would say they're kind of a different generation. Okay, uh, how do we do this battle? This this is really an indication of how blind this Let's Play is because I have no clue. I really don't. Can I flip? I can. And then I see him in 3D. Okay, what do I do? It's going to fly in from the right. I can sense it. You should flip back into 3D. Oh, 3D. Okay, can I can I jump on it? I can. Aha. It seemed obvious. All right, we're on him. What do we do? What do we do? Oh, there's an enemy. There are enemies. What do scan them? Now, I, I know what Fractale is. You can fly and swoop in with a bi its big open mouth, but I think the antenna-like horn top instead is a weak spot. I think you're going to need to throw to hit it. I'm trying to scan. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to follow her advice and throw! Throw! Come on, and hit him! Yeah, oh boy. Oh boy. Flip! I don't think we're supposed to flip here, but it looks, it looks so trippy. Oh wait, could I have jumped on top of him again? Signs pointed to yes. Okay, if if he survives this next hit, I need to try that. Because I think I could have done it. Can I jump on him when he came from the, uh, from the 2D portion? Let's test this theory. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Jump! No, okay, I can't. He's too tall. All right, let's see, let's see. I'm guessing he's gonna come in from the left this time. Maybe. Whoa. Okay. He's going that way. He's going right, so he'll probably come from the right again. Come on, bro. Come on. Looks like he's coming, charging straight at us. Better watch out. Wait, from where? Okay. From the, from the right again. Let's jump. Oh no 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 no! Jump. Yes. I got on him. All right, let's test that thing again. Run. Run, Mario. Run like your life depends on it. Grab the bots. Wait a minute, can I, can I do something stylish? Oh no, I can't. Sadly, I can't throw after jumping on something. Grab the bot. No. Grab the bot. Throw it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I have to remember, I have to remember. Ready? Set. Go! I did! You can! That's so awesome! That's amazing! Okay, let's grab the bots. Throw them. And finish him off! System crash. I have malfunctioned. What have I done? Hero, hero, the error is mine. I am sorry. Shame circuit smoldering. Please, you must save our world. You get it? Because he's a computer, so we have to save our world. Back it up. You get it? You get it? No? Okay. I'll just go. Alright, so he said he was guarding the, uh, the pure heart. I almost said crystal star. No, he looks like he's guarding the pure heart, so we're going to get a pure heart, maybe? 
Man, this, this place is pretty. Welcome, hero. My name is Merlumia. Lur. Mer. Lumina. Yeah, Merlumia. That. <laughs> Oh, it's one of the Celestials from Okami. I am a dormant soul. I have waited long to give you the pure heart. Yes, I have been waiting for 1,500 years. Are those her teeth? That's kind of scary. Your presence here must mean that all worlds have begun to collapse. Yes, they have. In fact, that's why we're here. Before I give you the pure heart, you and I must speak. Listen well, hero. Those are her teeth. Oh my word, that's terrifying. Long, long ago, my people built a civilization hailed as a beacon of culture. Sadly, despite our power, there was one thing we were powerless to stop. The Dark Prognosticus. Nobody knows what authored the dark book. It foretold the events of, of the future. On the last page, it was written that a chaotic power would devour the world. We knew it had to be stopped. Our greatest mind had devised a grand plan to stop the tragedy before it happened. We needed something with the pure essence of love to confront this chaos. Researchers set to work, and they created the Purity Heart. We divided the Purity Heart into eight pieces, and hid them in different dimensions. We hid them for their own protection, waiting for the day the hero would arrive. Everything was going as planned, or so it seemed. But the wheels of destiny began to spin wildly out of control. It began with a very small incident. At that time, I was young and quite beautiful. It started the day I met two very fetching young men. And you see, my life set sail toward a maelstrom of love. You see, I asked one out, but... However, it was, well... You know. Basically it, and then I said, and he said, and then... <laughs> <laughs> Mario's asleep. <laughs> They're both asleep. And that is why we hope the Purity Heart will have the power to defeat Chaos. To save all worlds, we must find the eight pure hearts that, that form the Purity Heart. And that is why all I have to say on the matter. Or, and that is all I have to say on the matter. Were you listening carefully? Yeah. Sure. Throw actually listened the entire time. Or they just didn't want to animate him sleeping. Excellent. I did tell the shortened version so I wasn't sure if you would fully understand. It's up to you to find the pure hearts, for they are our last and only hope. Go forth, hero, and save the worlds. We are all depending on you. Find the eight artifact pieces of the artifact that allow you to defeat evil, like in every video game. You gotta... Pure rainbow magic heart artifact that will save the world if you get eight pieces in every game. Before disappearing, Merlumina had entrusted Mario to save every world. She had waited 1500 years to deliver the message of the legendary hero. With the second pure heart in hand, Mario is in great spirits. But six pure hearts still remain to be found, and the journey had just begun. With a flutter, TP said, I think we better return to Flipside. Did... really? A flutter? The weight of every world's fate once again rested on Mario's shoulders. Do you want to save your progress? Yes, I do. Find out next time what happens to Mario in Super Paper Mario.